Welcome to the What's Good podcast, the tutorial series videos. I'm your host, Natty, and in this episode, we're going to look at making an audio postcard and the magic of storytelling. An audio postcard is an audio segment in which sound effects and songs are supporting your storytelling so that you can paint a full picture for your listeners. A good tip for this kind of project is to have either a script or some bullet points so that you can flow clearly and effortlessly through your story. Make sure that you share cool details and fun facts just like you would when you're telling an exciting story to your friends. We actually made our own audio postcard here at Girl Be Heard. We wanted to share the origin story of our main stage production. I asked Nella to share the scoop. Check it out. I'm here today with Nella, Director of Programming at Girl Be Heard, and she's going to tell us the story of the main stage production. How did it come together? Where did it happen? How long did it take? Who the participants are? All that good stuff. Thank you, Nati. So the main stage show is really a year-long process. We recruit and audition um, young women, gender non-conforming youth, who have an interest and a passion for both the arts and social justice. They begin their year with an artistic director and spend the first few months of programming from October to December, really having an opportunity to become one as an ensemble. So building those relationships in that community as an artistic company. They are also spending weekly yeah, sessions yeah, we going through the Girl Be Heard curriculum. And that's when we're really talking about these things like leadership as an ensemble. We're also exploring the various social justice issues that are really resonating with the young people throughout New York City and the world. And it's through these series of weekly conversations that they then come to the conceiving of the main stage show. That process typically begins in January, where they're really starting to then um, decide together what they want the community to be aware of as it pertains to social justice issue and then they're creating a show around that or those issues specifically they begin working with the artistic director to write the show they begin having rehearsals um, really starting at a weekly basis and then increasing in frequency as the show as the year continues and then they begin the process of pre-production getting ready to set the stage so all in all the process takes about nine months but in terms of preparing for the main stage show specifically they have about three to four months to make it happen this year in particular, we had a little bit less time because there, was, there, there were some transitions um, earlier in the year, but they were able to stay focused, really fixed on the task at hand and the goal of creating a show, Voice Be Heard the Musical, ultimately, that tells the story of six strangers who find community in one another after a unlikely blackout occurs and they're forced to pay attention to the worlds around them as they're having this opportunity to really focus on one another they're learning about each person and uncovering layers that then provide the opportunity for a specific social justice issue to take center stage this year many of our participants had passions around mental health had passions around gun, gun violence, had passions around um, immigration and being a dreamer, what that looks like. Um, they were really interested in talking about body autonomy and an ode to womanhood. And they were able to create all of these vignettes, um, but still celebrate the ensemble. And they did so, I might add, in both, in an intermedial way. So there was a virtual cast and there was an in-person cast and using the, um, the, the, the very magic of technology, we were able to incorporate both casts into creating what we saw as Voices Be Heard the Musical. 
All right. And can you tell us, is there a recording, a video, something that we can check out if we weren't able to make the show in person? Yes. Well, if you missed the show in person, sorry for you. It was an excellent show. Actually, our first show back since 2019 first live on stage show since 2019 we did have a videographer record the show and we're going to be streaming it on our socials and our platforms so that anyone who wasn't able to see the show live and in color um, can have the opportunity to do so welcome back so after listening to our audio postcard vanilla um let's see how to make it happen so we're back in soundtrap If you missed how to create an account and get started with the basic features, I recommend that you go back to episode two before everybody else. We're here, we're in the studio, and this first piece of audio or region is your interview, right? So you either did it right onto Soundtrap using the record feature over here with the red button, Or you did parts of it on Soundtrap and parts of it on your phone and uploaded the voice memo. Either way, we got our storyline and I actually renamed it. So if you want to do the same, you can just double click on it and enter the name. So the main thing to create an audio postcard, at least the way that I did it, is by listening, listening and listening again. And as I was listening to the story, I made notes of passages and words that I wanted to highlight. So you can see from 1 minute 50 till about 2 minute 20, cue this track, 2 minute 38, cue the light bulb sound. So all of those notes correspond to certain words or passages that I can emphasize with sound. I then went and... Um, collected all the sounds so you could either do it on Soundtrap right here using the music note and the loop bank so either you can use the original song or some of the sound effects you can preview by playing the play button right here and then click the plus button if you want to add it to your project but you can also find the sounds on the internet and what I did is that I put together a little folder over here with all my sounds um, and I label them in order so I know when they happen in the so in the story and so to add them to our project we're going to go into import file and it's directly taking me to my desktop to my folder and um, let's add our songs so I know I want to use the woman song by Nail I need the light bulb, the pencil writing, the clock ticking, blackout sound, which is an interesting sound, but it works, I think, in the context of the story, and then lockdown. By Anderson Beck. So now we have all of our songs or sound effects and then you just want to place them you know at the right um, moment. So I'm not going to do all the edit with you right now because it would take a while but <coughs> sorry for that. You're going to move the audio where it needs to go by clicking on it and placing it in the right space. If you need to shorten it, you can go all the way to the end, bottom right, and make it the length that you want. <coughs> Sorry again, I'm recovering from, from a little cold, so I'm going to be coughing here and there. Um, yeah, so you move your, your audio at the right spot for the length that you need and obviously what's going to be the most important is getting your volumes right, right? So you want the voice to be on top and then the supporting sounds to be under it. So you see I'm bringing down the volume here. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you would put together the audio postcard. You want to identify what do you want to highlight 
collect all your sounds and then place them in the right spaces and get the volume right. That's it. That's just a few steps to make your story really come alive. Once you're done, don't forget to name your project over here. Audio postcard. And save it. And once you save it, it'll give you the option to download it. And it'll just download that as an MP3 uh, file on your computer. Alright, that's it for the sound chat portion. We hope you're feeling inspired to share your own stories. Find us in the next video to learn more about interviewing.